Okay, joining us this week on Phoenix TV exclusively is Phoenix defenseman Luke Bo Luke Boudroyd. Luke, welcome to Phoenix TV. How are you doing? You're right. Luke, obviously now uh, you're a seasoned campaigner now in the Elite League with a number of years under your belt with the whole Stingrays and now with Manchester. What are the, what are the big differences for you? Um, I think Manchester's a more, um, more better organised team, a lot more professional on and off the ice. Um, the attitude seems to be a lot better um, in the change room, a more, a more winning attitude and more, more positive attitude and I think that reflects in the scores that we, uh, that we get on the ice. So. Yeah, very happy with the move. So yeah, but obviously you came through the, through the ranks at the Hull Sting race, but you you didn't start in Hull, did you? You, you began your ho playing hockey in Bradford. Yeah, I played uh, played uh, in uh, Bradford under my old coach Andy Brown. So a lot to thank him for. Um, but yeah, I had a really good time in Bradford. Um, just a lot of good guys there. My brother still plays there, so I go down there every summer and, and practice with them still. Um, stay on the ice and it's a lot of fun so yeah um, and then moved to Hull first year of under 19s um, to a, a chance really to play with the when they was then in the BNL the Hull Stingrays in the BNL there practice started to practice with them and signed a professional contract with them the year after so that's how I got there really It's a fair amount of travelling though because you actually live in Huddersfield don't you? Yeah I mean that's like 70 miles from Hull and then it's 50 miles from here, so here's close, but it still takes me longer to get here than it does to than it does me to get to home. So just with the traffic in the morning, but I'm used to it now. I'm still at the university in Huddersfield, so I'm um, living at home. It's cheaper for me, so just the travel. But I'm used to the travel over the last five, six years playing at home, so it's not a problem really. You mentioned the university there. What exactly are you studying at the moment? Uh, I'm studying sports psychology. It's my third and my final year, so. Got to get my head down and work at that one this year, so yeah, hopefully get a, a good degree in that and take a personal trainer course in the summer. So hopefully that all goes goes well as well. Sports psychology, I guess that means you're reading a lot of sports books and you, you read a lot of opinions and you come up with a, you come up with many quotes from the, some of the books you've read. Uh, not so much quotes, but it's uh, it's very practical and relevant to what what we do. Um, things on like motivation and confidence and um, how you work together with your teammates as a team and uh, I can take a lot of that that I learn from the classroom into uh, into here so yeah it's good it's good fun. Obviously uh, being at university that's uh, it's having a bit of an impact though on your progress with the GB national squad because the, the squad are out to Poland for the Olympic qualifiers this week and sadly you're not able to go with them because of your schooling. Well, yeah, I mean, they're going next week and they ask if I'm available for selection. Um, I just basically had to say, well, I've got a few, I've got quite a lot of important deadlines with my di final year dissertation. Um, and just for this year, maybe the GB might have to be put on hold. I mean, um, a lot of deadlines, as I say, I, it's, it's only for one year to try and get a good degree and then after that I can you know, do whatever. So, Still disappointed at not being able to go to Poland with Tony and Murph? Well, I mean, I, I, I was. I'm not saying that I would definitely have been selected if I said I was up for selection. So, um, I guess we'll just have to see when I when I say I'm available. Um, it's just a shame that I think when they go away for the World Championships as well, that that's when all the the final year exams are and all the deadlines as well are as well. So, um, it's not falling at the best of times, but I need to get my degree. I need a, d a good degree for. Uh, the rest of uh, my working life as well so um, yeah I've got to focus on that as well so there's yeah, plenty, guess, plenty of time for GB as well so. I guess it's a little bit of sacrifice now for the uh, for the long term game yeah yeah um, I mean obviously hockey's not going to be around forever or whatever but um, as I say it's just one year and there's there's lots more years for me to for me to play GB um, disappointed I guess but um, in the long run, it's you've got to look at. It in the long run, it's not, it's not too bad. Yeah, it has to be a realistic outlook, doesn't it? Yeah. Get, getting back to the Phoenix now. In recent weeks, you've been you've been playing alongside Dwight Parrish at the back. How big an influence has Dwight been on your game? Because he's a, he's one of the veterans, should we say, on the team, and yeah. he, he has a game of good experience. Yeah, I mean, he's always really positive. Um, I mean, if you do come off and you haven't made a mistake, he's 
like you will you'll always be like you know come on get your head up keep going or uh, and if you again if you're doing well he'll, he'll tell you that you're doing well and he'll be like you know keep going keep you know you're playing well keep keep doing what you're doing um but yeah he's, he's a really nice guy I get on with uh, Dewey really well so yeah it's good and you mentioned the, the winning attitude that seems to be in the in the locker room here with the Phoenix and and that does seem very prevalent this year and obviously it's your first year in Manchester so yeah. you, you want to notice it here before but there does seem to be a very upbeat tendency about all the guys yeah I mean I think when you have really good when everyone gets on in the changing room um, I think it, it transfers straight to the ice like everyone wants to win for each other and work hard for each other and um, sacrifice for each other it's, and you can, you can see it on the ice um, there's no there's no individuals who are set aside from the rest of the group you know like no one thinks they're better than anyone else and everyone knows the role and everyone likes each other and gets on so it's, it is a really good team really good atmosphere would you say this is probably one of the best team spirits you've you've come across in your career so far? Yeah, especially in uh, in the elite league in terms of um, teams I've put, played on professionally. Um, definitely probably the best atmosphere I've had in the change room. Yeah, uh, definitely. Now last week we played your old team, the whole Stingrays, and uh, it was a bit closer than many of us thought it was going to be, but. Uh, Good to get one over on the old boys. Yeah, that was a worrying one. Like the first game of the year was against Hull in Hull. I really wanted to win that, and we won that. We just edged that one. Um, and then yeah, we made it a bit, a bit too close last last time. But yeah, it's really nice to get a win. Um, I've, I've no bad words to say about Hull because I really enjoyed my time there. Uh, but obviously, it's always it's always nice to win, and win for your own team, win for Manchester. And against Hull, yeah, it was it was nice to win. Just a bit we made it a bit harder than we needed to make it. So. Was there much banter going on out there on the ice with the guys who you played with previously? Not really. I mean, um, we're all good friends. Um, I talked to a few of them off the ice before the game, but it was it was more about like how you're doing, how's it going in Hull, not not so much like or how do you think about the game at night. It was all it's all about how the season's going so far and uh, how they're finding it in Hull this year, and you know if it's if it's any better, any worse than last year and stuff, so, and how everyone is, really. So. Are you the sort of guy that looks for, looks for their result first at, at the weekend to see how they've gone on? Obviously, you said you've, you've no bad words to say about them and you, and you enjoyed, you know, they were very influential in your, in your earlier career. So are they, is there the result you look for every week? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, um, I was there, I started my career there and um, Strikes always give me a chance. Um, he always played me, I... Even if I made mistakes when I was younger, he'd still put me out there, um, and that's that was a, a big, really, really big help with the ice time. But yeah, I, I do look for the results. I mean, I saw they had a good win in Belfast last night, which was quite surprising. But uh, yeah, I do look for their results. But obviously, my my concerns all about Manchester, and uh, it's not going to affect me if they if they win or lose. So. And you mentioned the travelling to uh, to and from Manchester earlier. Like you said, it's 70 miles from Huddersfield to to Hull each week, and and now it's only 50. But uh, is that is, does that cause you problems for training? Not really. I'm, I'm used to the travel. Not it doesn't have any effect on me physically. Um, but uh, it's closer. It's close. 50. Like it's 20 miles closer, but still, it takes me about half an hour to an hour longer to get here than it does to Hull just with the traffic in the morning. With the practice has been at uh, at nine fifteen or whatever, and slap bang in the middle of rush hour like the other week, I, I was uh, coming to practice and I was stuffed in traffic by the Trafford Centre. Uh, I just had to ring Tony and I said, "Look, I'm not even going to make it for the start of practice," and he just pretty much said, uh, "Okay, this happens. You'll have to just basically turn around and go home." So then I had to queue to turn around, and then when I turned around to go home, I was queuing to go home. So. I, uh, I just waited in the services and read a magazine and went home, but it just makes me having to uh, set off a little earlier now. I mean, uh, it's not a problem. I've, I've been travelling for the last five years, so it's, it's fine. It just means you have to spend a little bit more time in the gym occasionally. Yeah, I guess so, yeah, but I just, uh, just bought myself a nice new car, so as I spent so much time in it, so that was, that was justified to spend that much <laughs> money on it, but, but yeah, it's good. Luke Boudreaux, great luck for the rest of the season with the Manchester Phoenix and thanks for joining us exclusively here on Phoenix TV. Thank you very much.